by 2023, he will not have a sliver of relevancy, hopefully. And, 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 and yeah, no, fuck him. Fuck him. I'm glad he's gone. I, 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 I did not like what he was doing. I didn't think he was healthy. And uh, maybe if he would have worked a little smarter, he wouldn't have to be complaining outside of the matrix about how there is a matrix. Hi hey guys, today I'm with Logan Paul. We're on the streets of Santa Monica and today we're picking up girls with lassos. Let's go. Hi. <laughs> you want trusty Steve if I've ever seen one. I lassoed you. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'll let you go if you kiss me. Hi, so, sorry, pick up line. You're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're- oh, whoa, 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 what? 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 Yeah. Hi. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Question, question, question. Um, I was wondering, do you think you could put your number in my phone? I don't support Andrew Tate, but I roll with free speech. That's what Jake Paul said, which I think is so funny. Like, you don't have a- Bro, you've never thought about free speech. That was such a way. disappointment. I thought for once he had like a good take, and then I found out he did. <laughs> Not really. You see, Logan had a good take about it, though. Did you see that? No, I didn't. See uh, it. Let me what pull that Logan up. Logan Paul was just straight up like, "Yeah, this guy's a horrible influence, and I think it's a good thing he's gone." I was uh -huh. like, "Okay, wow. Logan. Okay, Logan." Do to me. I've already said the n-word. You can't take me down. Someone makes a uh, compilation. Yeah. It's like, "Here's Ethan saying nigger." Well, who said nigger faggot? The I nigger faggot has just been around the block. Yeah. I love that I can just say nigger faggot. Though. Yeah. Like, I feel like you're, you're using a little liberally. I love <laughs> saying nigger faggot. It's so wonderful. Yeah. So now he, you're going to get shit for it. And his whole thing is that he says nigger faggot. And, and saying nigger faggot. You, yeah. She's a hypocrite because he said nigger before. Oh well, Ethan said nigger before. And someone makes a uh, compilation. Yeah. It's like, here's Ethan saying nigger. Referring to the word and saying nigger in a, in a reference. He, H3's a hypocrite oh, because the, he said nigger on his podcast. It's like, dude, I think there's, there's a clear difference between saying nigger and referencing it. I said, he said nigger. When I'm me saying nigger faggot. Be like, I was at a party and said nigger and she left. And they're like, oh, Ethan said Oh, he right. said it! I have nothing because... to apologize for. But what to expect from stupid niggers? Sorry, blacks, but most of you are easy to manipulate. Ungo, boingo, bungo, bongo. Here, niggers just have to nig. And people always target her. It's what happened with this ni with this one guy. They're like <laughs> these huge black dudes, and they're all strapped. They were all black. There was like 10. I'm okay. just saying, they were every single one of them was black. Okay. If there's eight dudes on security, <laughs> and they're all black, I think that's worth noting. I mean, they're all like six five black yeah. dudes. Yeah, yeah, that's terrifying. Is a six five black dude scary more than a six five white dude? For anyone who's not familiar with Andrew Tate, uh, he's some sort of fallen internet influencer that I didn't know about until fairly recently. Says all sorts of terrible misogynistic things. He moved to Romania because he allegedly sex traffics and doesn't have to worry about it in Romania. Real stand up guy, right? So. Does Andrew Tate know what he looks like? Does he? he looks like a thumb. Like He's a not thumb. attractive. No. Something looks very wrong with that picture. Oh my god. I don't want to say anything. But no, no, no way, man. I don't want to find out what's going on up downstairs. And I'm much more worried that she's gonna pull out a jammy on. She actually doesn't. Oh yeah, she does. Never mind. I'm fucking better than you. I was gonna say she doesn't look so bad in that picture, but this one, I'm fucking better than you. Oh, I don't want to find out what's under that skirt. Okay, just uh, it is what it is. Massage me. She looked fine if she didn't have these ridiculous breasts. Go get some anti-wrinkle cream. I'm fucking better than you. I don't care. You don't have any hair down there. She looks terrible. Even Latoya has no ass. Megan Fox is a twig. Yeah, but she has nice rack, right? Her boobs are like maybe a B cup. That's who I am, and it is what it is. Massaging me. Camel toe is a weakness I have. <laughs> I think it's up to women to like not be whores. Lindsay Lohan is a fool. I'm fucking better than you. Know what? I, look, I gotta call it like it is, right? One of the reasons she got big is she has big tits. Misogyny. She's a cute girl with, 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 get real. I mean, get real. I completely agree with you. You're 100% right, 0% wrong. Misogyny. That's who I am. And it is what it is. Misogyny. And I wouldn't even do it. We're feminists here. You go back and look at our clips. 
Uh, Her boobs are looking a little... Mm, run down. Sad day. I'm fucking better than She's too skinny. Holy cow, is she flat-chested. She needs to gain a little weight. I'm fucking better than you. She's so flat-chested. She has to calm down with the dieting. I'm fucking better She's than She's a hardcore lesbian. She's a man. She looks 43. I mean, she looks beat. I'm fucking better than She's starting to look too skeletal for me. She's so flat-chested. I've seen boys with bigger tits. I'm fucking better than You are garbage. This is me trying to point out your misogyny. <laughs> these women with their legs and uh, don't they have a dress code though look do you right there's nothing wrong with showing off your legs but don't do it when you pretend as if you're one of the platforms for family values that skirt is insane okay but it goes to show you right that's that what Fox News does uh, this like 14 year old rode by with rode by with his bike and he slapped my butt and I felt humiliated and it was just a really terrible violated feeling that I had and he came back for more and I didn't think I had it in me I kicked him off his bike and I started kicking him in his ribs and I couldn't stop and it was like Damn, this moment that's of a rage beat down. yeah it was this moment of rage that I had and and well, firstly, even if that was the case, that wouldn't be misogyny. Well, what did you mean by what you said? That's not misogyny because it's not anti-women. I'm, I'm saying that an 18 or a 19-year-old woman would be more desirable. It's pretty anti-25-year-old woman. Anti-25-year-old women, we can argue, but not misogyny. Well, that's misogyny. Let's, then, isn't let's, it? No, 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 it's well, not. Being anti any woman at all is misogyny. Not when I'm not when I'm saying that women are beautiful and attractive at a certain age and saying the age. You're is saying 18, 19-year-olds are more attractive than 25. Well, than ageist, perhaps, but misogynistic, absolutely. Is that not. when it? But you just accepted it was misogyny. No, I didn't. You said it was misogyny. I'm telling you, no, it's not. And I think they look ridiculous. Why? And they are emasculated. Why? They are. Why? I don't agree with you. You because like what? them? I don't. I don't, but you don't. You have to explain why. What is it about it? I think but they look I think, ridiculous. I right? think it's because you think they look a bit like mums. What? Because they're wearing the baby, and you think that's a bit no, too no, no, feminine. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. I used to carry my four. Ch I've had four kids. I used to carry them all the time. So there's no doubt about your masculinity. But I used to carry them until they were old enough to put on the shoulders. But the first sign of summer. Uh, traditionally, Good Morning Britain has always been Charlotte Hawkins arriving in a miniskirt for work. <laughs> and this morning, here she is. Up it's again. just a dress. Up again. It's just a dress. What? Come on, you're Honestly. wearing a miniskirt. It's not a dress, is it? Yes, it is. That's not a dress. That's just a dress. No, it's not. I don't know why you're getting That's so overexcited about the fact 60s. I am wearing a dress. I only know what you're wearing, because as you walk Breaking past news, our briefing meeting... Breaking I have a dress on. It's because Gillette have a new advert out. The best a man can get has been their strap line for ever since... I'm 30 years. Them, right? Now, now we have this from Gillette. <laughs> what are you so oh, shut up? Because that's honestly. quite a sentiment. Oh isn't please, it? it's utter guff. What? The implication, What's guff about it? Here's what's guff about it. The implication from that commercial now is that basically most men are, are pretty toxic. awful people. We're toxic. Why is that? We're overly thing? masculine. All right? the men intervening We're... and cooperating oh, and being it's... diplomatic. Yeah, the implication being most sensitive. men are horrible little bullies, what men? sexual harassers, abusers, etc., etc. And we all have to be saved from ourselves. We're all dreadful people. Why are you terrible, so toxic under people? <laughs> I'll tell you why I feel under threat. Do you think it's funny? But if we did this to <laughs> women. I think you're outraged. Fine. Ridiculous. And if we did this to women, if I did a commercial tomorrow that basically just showed the worst of women, Women, all hell would break Showed loose. Showed women helping all, each other. Because, by the way, women, are, each other. women aren't perfect. Not because been women apparently are all now perfect, and men are evil. And masculine men have to be driven out of society. <laughs>